Hello everyone, poor Cynic here with Endless Runner Rampage. That's where I go into an Endless Runner game blind, play it for a little bit and tell you what I think. And we have here today Temple Run 2. You might recall I played the original Temple Run, I think it was like my second Endless Runner Rampage video. And just like that one, this one does not appear to have music on the menu. It's weird. I do know, however, this one is currently constantly updated, so it's not like the last one. last one was just sort of left to gather dust, so this should be interesting. Go with some of the things here on the menu. In the store, we have lots of different things. We have a free tre treasure chest. Who am I to say no to free things? And we have one gem. Cool. Awesome. These are oh, these are just the deals. Uh, limited time sales. Bunny guy. Secret Crow Frost Beard. Freya Cold Heart. There's a frost theme. They it's their current temporary thing. It's frost and snow and whatnot. Uh, you can watch clips, like on social media. Currency. So the coin doubler is five dollars, and it ranges from five thousand coins for a dollar to six hundred fifty thousand coins for fifty dollars. Kind of glad they don't have a ninety nine ninety nine option, but still, that's that's hefty. And then for gems, uh, two special currencies. I'm already not already not liking this. Uh, we have five gems for a dollar, up to two hundred forty gems for twenty dollars. Okay, that's not terrible. Then we have abilities, increases coin values, magnets, boost distance. Okay, this is just sort of boosts. And then we have different maps. Ah, I'm on the limited time of Frozen Shadows map. I see. And we're gonna go back. We're gonna look at menu. Ah, currently Guide Dangerous. That is not an attractive model. That looks like a photo plastered on a 3D model there. Alright, and select power-ups, upgrade abilities, and swipe to change characters. Alright, we can play as Scarlet Fox, Guy Dangerous, anybody else? Uh, these are all require unlocks. Can I change, like, their clothing or something? Is that what this is? Ah, different outfits. What about for her? Oh, that's cool, I like that. Uh, yeah, let's go with Scarlet Fox to, to start out with. And we are already beginning. And now I get sound. Okay. Swipe to jump. Got it. Like so. Just like the old one. Here you go. Coming up on an obstacle there. Okay, nice job. Good. I assume this is just tutorial type of thing. Swipe to turn. Whoa! What the? Okay. It was just there. That was weird. All right, a little bit of delay on the swipe, it seems. I might have been doing it wrong. Maybe I just accidentally turned into the wall. Okay. Swipe to slide. So we're coming up here, slide, good. And slide again. And slide again. Nice job, thank you game. What do we got next? Tilt to cl Oh, that's right. It's tilting to maneuver along the, uh, the thing here. Not a fan of tilt controls, I will admit, still, after all this time. There's a lot to keep in mind here, and it's a little, little distracting. Alright, double tap anywhere to activate power. Okay. Go. I jumped into the wall because I wasn't paying attention. Good start. A good start. Good thing I have a hard head. Nice. Alright, level 2. I got a thousand coins. That's cool. So in order to pass level 2, there's Treasure Hunter. It's 50,000 points. Piggy Bank. Collect 250 coins. And Novice Runner run 500 meters. Okay. I ran 46 meters. And 167 coins with a 10 multiplier. Yeah, we're going to do that again. That was uh, That was not my best performance there. Jump over whatever that is. Oh, and now they're already throwing new mechanics in at me. We got some sort of sliding thing. And turn. Good. Good. Yes. Jump. Turn. Jump. That, m that was almost too early. Oh. Swipe. 500 meters. Sweet. All right, all right, jump. That was a little early, and I missed that treasure chest, but oh well. 
I got excited, and I didn't register the swipe. Oh well. That was a very sad scream. You fell to your death. I sure did. All right, try it again. This is uncomfortable to hold. And now back on this snowboard style thing. Ow, gosh. Okay, good. It That's the second time I swiped up and it didn't register it. I don't know if it has to be in a specific way, but that's that's a little that's a little upsetting. But I'm scared of heights. Run that again. I also noticed that third time running this, it hasn't really changed up this introductory section besides the coins being in a slightly different pattern. That's a little unfortunate, but maybe it'll be different here. Yeah, this is now different. All right, good, good, swipe. Well, that was a thing. Jump again, jump to get whatever that is. Okay, did not turn, cool. Upgrade your power-ups. You've collected some gems. Try enhancing your power-ups to make them more powerful. All right, I'll take a look. I have one gem. Thanks, game. End of the road, okay, that's nice. Well, yeah, so far this is interesting, but I'm not seeing much of a major distinction. If anything, I notice that it's a little more clunky, although I might be misremembering. Flames, that's new. Dodge that. All right, going good so far. 500 meters, jump. Get all that. Get, miss that, that's okay. Jump. That's not a jumpy thing. Scream's still terrible. Wanna run somewhere new? Go to the map menu, change your location. Sure, let's go. Sky Summit. Oh really, it's gonna take me out to the main menu? No, oh, that's kind of not great. Really, it's gonna take me through this again? Oh, cool, there's sort of a new mechanic here with the with the sliding. Jump that. Jump that. Now, this is a full tutorial. Hmm. Swipe to turn. Just thinking about it, this is kind of a depressing game if you're the explorer, because your only choice is to fail. Also, this guy is right on my butt because I messed up a few times. Swipe to slide. Sir, you're very distracting. Could you please not? Oh, we're supposed to slide under that. Oh, well, I didn't. Man, that's, that's not great that it makes you run through the tutorial twice, just if you change levels. Not a fan of that. Double tap anywhere to activate power. Yeah, I did it. It's like a shield or something. I am ready. And I'm going. Whoa, speeding up now. Oh, that was a real... That's... Oh, man. That... That was a ledge. Okay. We're going to do a couple more of these. Personal best. Nice. And then I think we're going to call it. Because so far... It's not really impressing me, I've got to say. Not really impressing me. What do we got under upgrades? Yeah, let's boost shields and let's boost coin value. And that's pretty much it. Sweet, let's go. Once again, we start with the same sort of introduction, but I guess it is different because it wasn't that long extended thing. I do like that there is this additional variety and then we don't just have the one map. Man, they are throwing obstacles at me hard and heavy here. I ran into the thing and got torn apart by the monster. I ate explorers like you for breakfast. Alright, that's nice. Ah, this is hurting my hand. This is why I don't like tilt controls, because I don't want to... I want to rest this on something. That's why I got a cover that doubles as a stand. So I don't have to be constantly holding it. I'm sure anyone who uses a tablet for an extended period of time can vouch for this, but your hand can go numb pretty fast when you're holding, holding this thing. Like if I'm lying in bed just watching movies, uh, it is a pain. 
And that's a gem. Get that. That's good. Oh. Oh. Sweet. Okay, still. Oh! That was not a jump, that was a turn. Sweet. Alright, uh, missed it by that much. Nice. 250 meters collecting, no coins. Okay, last run through. Here we go. Very exciting. Good, getting some sweet coinage. Jump, swipe, slide. Uh huh, and oh, yeah. Woo, tilt to dodge. Oh, it's just like the water park. Tilt left. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. I'm tilting left. We tilt right. Nice job, I did it. Swipe to dunk. Oh, I see. Blub, blub, blub. Blub, blub, blub. I am ready. Huh. Almost hit myself on that rock there. Then I really would have been like Lara Croft. Uh, I can't see. Duh! High score! Woohoo! Uh huh. Uh, sweet. Oh. Yes, magnet powers. Woo! Alright. Oh, jump that. Swipe there. So cool! Hi, sir. You're right behind me. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Whoop. Oh. No, it's fine. Everything's good. Everything's great. We're doing okay. I lost him. Oh, got a swipe. Got a jump. I'm in mines now. I'm in the mines now. Tilt to live. Okay. Man, I'm getting all the mechanics now. Swipe to duck. Jeez Louise. Oh, down we go. Aw, oh, what? Okay. Swipe to duck earlier. Got it. Or later. Got it. At least they gave me another shot with that. You are ready. Whoa. Sweet. Duck. Sweet. Oh, I was supposed to tilt there. Fell to my death again. But I got all three. I got four gems for reaching level three. So yeah, that was Temple Run 2. And yeah, it's all right. There are some nice things about it, but I still miss having music. And it doesn't feel like much of an upgrade over uh, Temple Run 1, besides things like additional levels and additional character skins. I guess if you have to pick between the two, go for the second one, just because it is being upgraded. But otherwise, yeah, it's it might have been, you know, one of the, the pioneering runner games, but uh, there's better ones out there, honestly. So yeah, I've been Poor Cynic, and I will see you all next time. Ta-ta and farewell.